Hey guys, Jennifer from Scrapping Under the Influence. Um, just wanted to share a project I just finished. Um, my husband's been working on my craft room, so I'm actually have been working from our kitchen table upstairs for the last week or week and a half just because he's been doing drywall and everything downstairs is covered in plastic so it didn't get covered in drywall dust and whatever. But the good news is he has done the primer on the walls. Um, he's working on trim. He should have it painted. Um, hopefully by the end, I might be done with it by the end of this weekend. So, so, um, that would be awesome. But anyway, <laughs> back to the reason we're here. So I had, um, purchased a, the tutorial for the 11 by 11 album from Yearbook of Memories. I don't know, about a month and a half ago or so, whenever it was, she went from having her tutorials free on YouTube to charging on her own website. Um, just because I had absolutely been in love with this album since she released it and just hadn't had time to do it. And I had the, the, um, doodle bug Christmas town paper kind of hanging around that I just wasn't sure what I was going to do with it because the project I had it planned to use it on originally ended up being way too complicated was going to take that. I just decided it was, it wasn't worth pursuing, I guess. <laughs> So I decided to use that on um, Francis's tutorial. So I will link below where um, you can find the, the preview and then the tutorial if you want to purchase that to, to do the same album. Um, it's not difficult. There's a lot of elements in here that seem like they may be difficult, but quite honestly, her tutorial, she does such a good job walking you through um, all the different steps and whatnot that it ends up being much easier than you would expect, which is partially why I bought the tutorial because I had done um, several others of hers in the past and I know how how good of a job she does as far as, you know, walking you through things, whether you're brand new to this or you've been doing it for years. So um, I just thought I would show this to you really quick and let's get started. So as you can see, this thing is massive. <laughs> It's heavy, it weighs, you know, it's it's 11 by 11. This used a ton of paper. I think I had at least, I had two paper packs of the pattern paper and then I had, I'm not even sure how much of the petite print I used, but a lot of it. Cause I had one package of it that went with the pattern paper. And then I had bought a couple of extra sheets of other colors and I pulled a bunch of it out of my stash and literally used I think everything I pulled out of my stash. So, um, just some, you know, uh, odds and ends and whatnot on the front. Um, one of the stickers, some of the borders. Um, this is, um, a pocket to hold a, I believe it's a five by seven photo on the front here that you access the pocket from inside here. As you can see, this one actually, if I didn't have a whole bunch of dimensional stuff on it, actually lays fairly flat, which is kind of cool, which was another reason I wanted to do this. Um, so first page, you've got an eight by 10 um, photo frame. You could put, you know, a couple of smaller pictures in here. You could you could really put just about anything. I've got my leftover chit chat stuffed in here so that um, should this album actually get pictures, because you know how that I am about actually following through and doing that. <clears throat> then I've got the chit chat available to use. <laughs> so moving on, on the back side we've got, you know, a couple of little flips. And here we've got a nice big tag pull out. Um, I use the advent calendar cut aparts to um, embellish the different tags and and inserts and whatnot as I went through here. Um, so there we got three and four. Oops, caught. Five, six, seven, eight. And I did leave these loose where I can tuck a picture up underneath there. This opens up to a really nice layout in here. And then some more little flips, another little insert, and really, you know, you could tuck other things up in here. Um, another one of these little frame pages with with the acetate frames. This honestly was partially, was a big reason why I wanted to do this tutorial because I loved 
how these came out. Um, they, after you've done the first one, they get much, much easier. <laughs> but you kind of understand what you're trying to do. Um, and, and yeah, I think I built the entire base exclusive of matting in about, I don't know, about four hours maybe, which considering the size of the book, that's actually not too bad. Um, matting and decorating, of course, takes forever because I was running out of paper. <laughs> so um, nice big layouts here as well. Huge insert here, which I loved. And that's again where I used those advent calendar cut-aparts with the numbers. Um, the uh, and you know, I mean, you can you can tell in some of these were like I'm totally like piecing together things because I was running out of paper. I just don't want to go in with the kitchen. Anyway, um, on the back side here, we've got another big insert. On the back side. Um, some big tags, which are always fun. Oh, a cookie thing folded up on me. And then two more of the big um, uh, pockets. And this was one where I was having to piece because <laughs> I was literally running out of paper at this point. It was just getting to be kind of sad. <laughs> um, Cause I had gone through and, you know, done my matting on most of my big stuff. So, you know, like I used the um, petite prints, several different of the petite prints um, in here just because um, there were a lot of photo mats and a lot of little, you know, flips and things, There's magnets in here to hold that closed. You know, I've got more inserts over here, another nice layout page over here. Um, you know, same thing, because you get halfway through and then the book does repeat for the most part, which does make it a little bit easier to assemble because, you know, you've already done it once, you're just doing the same thing again. Um, you know, more of those little frames, a uh, nice big flap with the layout, you know, another tag, or big insert, not a tag, big insert. Um, this one, these actually flip up and I apparently didn't do any decorating on those, <laughs> probably because I forgot they were there. Um, you know, a couple more tags, big tags, big, big tags, which is nice because you can get a four by six picture on here easily, easily. Um, and then, you know, another insert where once again, like I said, I was down to the point of piecing together all sorts of things and you'll see exactly how bad it got here in just a second. <laughs> Um, so, you know, just of course, the little waterfall, I loved all the little houses in the um, odds and ends pack. And I just, yeah, really small waterfall, magnetic closure. Um, yeah, so this is the point I was at as far as like piecing things together, which it came out way cute, so it was okay, but it was just like not ideal. <laughs> Um, but that's okay. And then I keep this keeps sticking because this um, snowflake paper doesn't run all the way through behind here. It's just on the ends, so it keeps catching on me, but that's okay. And the same thing with the stripe paper on this one. Another big 8x10 insert that slides in back behind the waterfall. And there you have it. Um, thanks for watching. I will post the link to Francis's tutorial below if you are interested. Um, go check it out. And I am getting ready to start on a new project this morning and hopefully it will be fairly quick. So see you later. Bye.